While there's still some sunlight, we're going to discuss the difference between the Apple M1 and Apple M2 chips, and specifically their graphics processing differences. The M1 has 2.6 teflops of power, and the M2 has 3.6 teflops. Teflops being trillions of floating point operations per second, or in other words, a benchmark for GPUs. Now, right off the bat, yes, it's a higher number, so you can get better performance, but that's not what's gonna give you a huge boost in performance. The huge boost in performance is gonna come from what Apple calls the media engine. And that is a dedicated video chip built into the M2 chip that all it does is hyper efficiently processes, encodes and decodes video. So why is that so important? So that means, let's say you're exporting your YouTube video uh, from iMovie or Final Cut Pro. Usually, as soon as you click export or share, your GPU gets and CPU gets really taxed, and you can't really do that much until the process has finished. So now that we have this dedicated media engine chip, instead of going to the GPU and CPU, it goes straight to that chip. And that chip, since all it can do is process video, it does it extremely efficiently, plus it alleviates your CPU and GPU to do anything else. So you can still be on Photoshop, you can still be watching a movie, we can be listening to music as if nothing is happening. And that alone is a really, really good reason to want to upgrade to the M2. Because in today's day and age, you're going to be using video editing for a lot of things other than if you're a dedicated video editor or YouTuber. Oh, and plus, this means that the battery life it's going to be much, much longer. You don't have to worry about, oh man, I'm on the plane and I don't really want to export because my battery is going to just shoot down no. export. And you might feel your computer get a tad bit warmer, but that's about it. 